Back to the Gajia. Back to the Gajia. Back to the Gajia. Back to the Gajia classic. Do you find that when you put your basket in, that it's hard to do up? Or when you do do it up, it leaks from the top? If so, it's time to change this bad boy. Right, so your groove bed gasket, probably hardened. They don't last very long, these ones, the, uh, the rubber ones. Uh, that's why I've got bit of dust on there, sorry. I've got the silicon one, um, which I think is a good upgrade. It shall stay flexible for longer, um, hopefully creating a better and more soft seal, okay? And they're not much more expensive uh, than the, rub the black rubber ones that you get um, from the suppliers. Um, we've got this sort of eBay, and there's a link in the description of where I got this from. A uh, nice company, delivered very quickly. Okay, right, so I'm going through the process of taking this apart to replace the gasket. Okay, so drip tray out. I'm going to take out the water reservoir. I'm using this machine, so it has got water in it. Okay. I'm going to flip the machine over onto this back. I've got a bit of tea towel here. Actually, that as it falls off. So, what we're going to need for this task is obviously a new gasket. Okay. Sometimes they're supplied, like this one, uh, with like a shim. Uh, so, if you find you're putting your handle in it and it goes too far, that means there's wear in here. You put the shim in first, then then the gasket. Okay, but mine's okay, so I'm just going to be using this today. All right. So tools needed. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, ideally a stubby one. It's a bit awkward getting in here. Luckily, there's a V here, so we can get in. Okay. Also, a five mil Allen key. Okay. So here we go. First things first. Out with the centre screw. I might add that I've got a, like last time, I've got a little, um, plus, um, sorry, but like last time, I've got a little uh, container of pulley calf that I'm going to put all these bits in that I take out, okay? Right, so, there's two Allens here, not really tight, and the one here, okay, they're quite loose. I mean, I last replaced this about, near, about a year ago, I think, so it's definitely due. And it is quite hard to get my filter basket in. Right, so this has got to come off. It's, I think they can get quite stuck. I'm just going to stick my in there and give it a little... Oh, there you go. That she comes. A little bit dirty, a little bit of uh, lime scale on there, not too bad. Like I said, this, this machine is descaled quite often, so it should be an issue. Okay, so there's your gasket. These can be quite hard to get out, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do this time, because I know this is quite hard, you can feel it's very hard, you, know, you can scratch it very easy, I'm gonna screw a self-tapping Phillips screw in there and pull it out, okay? In it goes. Not all the way in, otherwise you'd be damaging the back of the bit of the back. And with some trusty pliers. Out she comes. See, I didn't put the screw all the way through. Gonna have to get it out. Now look at that. That is really hard compared to 
a new one. I mean, even a new rubber one should be this flexible. I mean, they just don't last so long, but that is hard. And this is the surface in which your group head is up against, you know? Right, so I'm gonna clean this area out and come back to you. Okay, it's so all clean now, so time to reassemble. Like I said before, if your, uh, your basket goes in too far, then there's some wear in this bit, in which case you need to put a shim in first. I don't, so I'm not gonna put that in. So, to install the gasket, you're gonna install it with the letters and the chamfered edge upwards. So the face which is uh, up against your basket is the one which is completely flat and not chamfered on the edge there. Okay, so just going to pop that in. Here it goes. Nice and easy. Just to centre that, I'm going to pop the basket in. In that a few times. There you go. So it's nice and flat now. And it's just a case of reassembling the rest. So get back in there. Your two Allens, your two five mil Allens. There we go. Nice and snug. Not not over tightening them because this is alloy parts. And then your centre screen. These have all been in the pulley cleaner. Centre screen in. Tied up. And basically we're done. It's that easy. So I'm just going to put all that together and then you'll notice it's nice, nice and smooth action. You've got no problem with getting it to the six o'clock position there. Sorted. So there you go, it wasn't too hard. It didn't take too long. Um, it's well worth changing that rubber gasket to the silicon because it should last much longer for you, okay? Link is in the description. Thanks for watching.